Well, I kind of think we want to do it in reverse order. So this is what's going to be happening in less than a week. We're hanging out here at the main presentation area. Then they're going to say, OK, time for the interactive music demo. And we come over here. And in the meantime, we've told them to press all these things. And we say, go to your map and go to the green dot at the top right. And then I am. Here they are. And they arrive here at the demo area. And then we get them to come over and stand inside the big C. And then we start with our little script. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing for Change, Part 26, Quiet Constructive Building. Today's episode, we re-entered by reflecting that our last stream, which had to be in YouTube because reasons, was different. And we may be forced to do more of that, uh, but some details of doing that do need clarification. Um, we also have a new meme, Quiet Constructive Building, by which we mean lay a foundation for the future while still taking care of business in the present. So the immediate future includes a presentation on this topic here. So we spent a lot of time getting our script to work, uh, which works this way. You click this thing called Speakeasy, and at the bottom right, you can see these words popping up. Welcome, Metaverse citizens, welcome, and thank you for your time and attention to this interactive music demonstration. And then actually, as we go through it, we're going to be sitting up here, walking through each slide, standing down, going to this slide, standing down. And then, and then, walking through and taking him over to this area. Now, we gave this talk earlier this year as part of a f longer 40-minute uh, talk, but this is the last part of it with the interactive demo that we're doing. So we spent a, a lot of time getting the script nailed down. This script right here. It's, it's, it's two and a half pages, and we timed it. We got 15 minutes from the get-go, where you saw us sitting in the back of the presentation area, and then to get them all the way through, not, not just listening to stuff, but playing the notes all together. On top of that, we also needed to work on getting this copied over to uh, the other virtual environment, as we like to call it. So we have a object that we made a brand new script for. I'll show that to you. That we're very proud of, this script here. Um, it's a combination of the scripts that we've been using. Uh, for example, this one over here. This was the original Piano Kit script on the left, and this is the new one on the right. Now on the left, all it did was, you know, it finds a sound in the primitive object and plays it on touch. This one does the same part, it plays it on touch, there it is, but it also does a preload, which means the first time you res it, bring it out of inventory, it loads it, which can save time and delay, but it also lets us put a string name, or what's called a hover text on there. And the difference between a hover text and no hover text, we carefully click, click, bang. Here's one with hover. Kaboom. And you see that has a little word hovering over it. And we needed that over here for our kits because in order to direct people what to play, say play the synthesizer, they're going to see synths, they're going to see drum kit, and they're going to see keyboard. But in general, we don't like having hover text set. Like example over here, we added playable stuff here so that when we're showing this off we can tell them to start clicking it right away because you got to keep people's attention we already know that one <laughs> I love that so anyway we did that we, we did quite a bit of updating of the display and for those that were watching us earlier we took we originally had all the orchestra kits over here and now we put them back over here and this is the old orchestra kits and they were just going to eventually delete that, I'm sure. So that 
covered that part, our interactive music display, then, then we worked on our simplicity scores. And what we did is we marked what we call clashes. So when you play, for example, simplicity one, uh, the min major and the minor together, this is what you get. And you can hear there's little clashes in there and we marked all the clashes and we got down to brass tacks and said the reason there's a clash there is because this B flat is clashing with this A. And A is what's called the major none and B flat is the minor none. So it's a none clash. But the other kind of clash that we get a lot of is for example over here And what's happening here is we've got the E and the E flat. And the E flat is the minor mode and E is the major mode. So we call that a mode clash. So there's two kinds of clashes when we overlay the scales, but everything else worked fine. And by clash, we meant that it was one, one step apart on the piano. Like this E flat to E is a clash and A to B flat is a clash. But if it was this, we said, we're okay with that. We're okay with that. It's fine. Now that said, we're leaving this alone. We're, we're letting Simplicity One play as it sounds because we're getting used to it and we like it, but we are going to add some new lines down here. So to bring us home, we'll just play Simplicity One all the way through and then we'll play Simplicity Two. And then simplicity two, that same phrase sounds like. Now we also did a little bit of restructuring over here and threw in some repeats because we liked how it sounded. Like we said, we're starting to get used to how this thing sounds. So. Right in here, we identified a repeatable area that didn't have any clashes. So we're going to play the Simplicity 1 and Simplicity 2. So here's what Simplicity 1 sounds like. didn't repeat. Anyway, like that. And then down here, the HPO2 version. And what we like about it is we've avoided the single note, single interval clashes, but God, some of it sounds really neat, you know, cool. And some of these things kind of almost sound like, I don't know, we were, we were, we don't remember what we were. We were playing some of it together, like we played a little bit of HP01. So you could even swap back and forth, which would be a modulation, blah, 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 blah. In any event, that concludes today's stream. What we like about today is getting that script handled. Our personal mantra is never make a major presentation without a script. Even if you don't exactly follow it, it, it guides you on exactly what it is you're trying to get across. And it's a blessing for your listeners. Um, and then we like how we've been getting 
very careful and quietly, constructively building on these two variations. So our ideas for next time are to continue working with the simplicity scores, to uh, also continue copying our team music demo area over from uh, Firestorm to Second Life, which is the other virtual environment. Uh, we Now we have a piano kit script that'll work just fine. It, the scripts work the same in both. We just have to, as we discussed, upload the wave sounds and, and rebuild the little kits. Um, shout out to Miss Cleo, kept us inspired. Tune in next time to see what happens. Do take care, do come back, and do please keep on streaming.